What's going on YouTube? Tony here, back again with another video for you guys. This is the OnePlus Nord N200 5G. I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple for you guys. I'm gonna try to give you a one week review using this phone. Um, first off, I wanna disclose that I did get this phone for free and you can too. Um, I recommend you go that route. If, you got, if you're on T-Mobile and you got an old phone just laying around, you wanna get rid of it. I mean, free is better than the 216. That they're selling this phone for so i recommend you try to get it for free uh, that's what i did t-mobile has a deal right now um yeah i'll link in the description if you were interested in that but a week later after using the oneplus nord and 205g i'm gonna give you guys a rating of i'm gonna try to break it down of everything i like about it this the uh, build quality the operating system performance and stuff like that i'm gonna rate it from give it an a if it's good and f if it's not good so that's how that's how we're gonna do it in this video. Um, first off, I want to let you know, guys, know what how I use my phone because everybody uses it different, and the apps that I have installed basically the ones I use the most. So I do have social media. I got Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp. Um, what else? What else? What else? TikTok. I have other apps, I got YouTube, which I use a lot. YouTube Music, I use a lot. Um, Google Maps, I use, I tested the map feature to let you know how accurate this is, how it locks up, how the GPS locks, it's pretty good. And I use Chrome as my browser, obviously I'm running Android, so I keep it as simple as possible. Um, I did uh, back up this device from, a, from previous Android. And it's been running fine, so you can do that. Um, and let me see what else I can tell you about it. So let's start off with the build quality on this on this phone. Uh, when it comes to the look, the feel, the in hand, uh, the way just overall feel and look of this phone, I give it an A plus. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels in the hand. I don't have a case on it. Um, I do have a film screen protector on it, but so far without a case. There's no nicks, scratches, dings, or nothing. A week that I've been using it, there shouldn't be. And um, I just overall love the color and the look and feel of this N200. So I give that an A+. Plus. Um, my second thing would be like the fingerprint reader unlocking the phone, the face unlock, double tap to wake. Um, when it comes to things like that, that would be like, to me, like the operating system, except for the fingerprint reader. So. Let's go to the fingerprint reader. It does unlock real good. It's very accurate. You know, right here, the placement of it. I like it. People don't like it. Some people don't like it, but for me, my hands, every hand's different, I guess. For me, using the phone, it's easy to reach with my thumb and it just, boom, unlocks. It unlocks instantly. So I do like the placement of the power button slash fingerprint reader. I like that. Um, it does support mobile payments, so you can unlock with a, with a thumbprint, like if you got a banking app, you need to get in there, you can just boop. And it reads, it, it's pretty safe, I would say, biometrics to get into your banking app. So I'm glad that they, they did that. Um, I like that positioning. So far, I haven't had real good luck with the underneath the, dis, underneath the display fingerprint reader, which this doesn't have, but on other devices, it's been hit and miss. So, yeah, I'm glad it's there. I like that. I like the business, so I can't complain with that. So I like the fingerprint reader. I like the build quality. It's A+. Plus. Um, the operating system that is running on Android 11, it is Oxygen OS. And it's one of my favorites. So I may be a little bit biased when it comes to that because I do like vanilla stock Android. And Oxygen OS is like my one of my second favorites right there. So I prefer it over Samsung, LG... Um, more, well, Motorola's almost stock, but um, when it comes to other phones running skins like that, which there ain't that many, a lot of China, China, Chinese phones, Chinese phones have those um, skins like MUI and stuff like that. But I prefer either stock vanilla Android or Oxygen OS. So Oxygen OS on this phone runs buttery smooth. We do got that 90 hertz display. We'll get to the display here in a second. Um, when it comes to the operating system and navigating through the system, the um, gesture navigation, 
and stuff like that. The call quality is real good. And opening apps, closing apps, pretty good. When it comes to stuff like that, moving through the, the UI in here, I give that like a, like a B. I think Oxygen OS did real, it runs real good on here, runs real smooth. It only has four gigs of RAM and uh, it's running the Snapdragon 480. So it, it handles it pretty good. Uh, we'll get into performance here in a minute, but when it comes to the operating system, uh, basic navigation on here and, and customization and updates, because they're known, OnePlus is known to push updates pretty fast. Um, I like it and I give it a, a B when it comes to that. Uh, when it comes to the, the display on here, I noticed that uh, I went on a long walk and under direct sunlight, it's not an AMOLED display and it looks pretty pretty good but I to me it seems like it doesn't get as bright enough as I want it to get outdoors so I did have a little issue like trying to see the display under under direct sunlight just want to put that out there it's a decent display 1080p looks pretty good but it is an IPS display it's not like AMOLED so I I would have preferred AMOLED but at this price I could see where they skimped out a little on the, on the display and they just gave it 90 hertz which the 90 hertz on here I honestly can't even tell um, if it's there it's probably just like on the home screen when you when you're doing this when you're uh, basically going to the app drawer and do that you, that's probably where you're getting the 90 hertz at or when you're in the Google feed and you're and you're scrolling, you're probably getting it there. But when it comes to seeing it gaming and stuff like that, I I haven't I I'll get back to you on that. But um, yeah, I have to make another video on gaming if if you're interested in that and you want to use this phone for gaming. I've seen some stutter on here, and I'm not 100% if this is going to be the gaming phone that you want. So when it comes to that, performance wise. And when it comes to performance, uh, multitasking and having a lot of apps running in the background and stuff and stuff like that, honestly, I'm gonna give it like maybe a C because I have seen some stutter. Maybe a C plus because it's for what I do. I think it's 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 a good phone. I think it's been running pretty smooth. I've seen hiccups here and there. Um, app animations a little slow down and stuff like that. But overall, I think it's. I think it gets the job done, so I'm gonna give it a C. I think C is, is a pretty good rating for a budget phone. I think it looks good, feels good, um, has Oxygen OS on it. It's gonna get some pretty good updates. It's pretty smooth when it comes to scrolling. So I'm gonna give it a C when it comes to that. So when it comes to the operating system, smoothness and stuff like that, and I'm gonna give it a C because I like Oxygen OS. Um, it's a preference thing, a lot of people like different, they like just like bare bones stock Android. I, I like it, so I can't complain. Um, now, when it comes to the cameras on here, I have taken some photos, I have taken some videos, I haven't uploaded them to YouTube yet, but the cameras are decent. Decent, uh, average, decent to average, I would say. I mean, it takes, you get some good photos out of it if you, you have some good lighting and it does not record in 4K in any of the cameras, the front nor the rear. So if you're looking for something that you can record 4K with, this isn't it. Um, 1080p 30 on the back, I think 720 on the front or I could be wrong. Let me check real quick. Let me check real quick. I think it's... Uh... It's 720p on the back. No, on the, on the front, you get my glasses on real quick. And I'll let you know real quick. I'm trying to make this short and quick. Uh, turn the phone permissions. Let me see what I did here. Okay. So when it comes to the front facing camera, are you okay video resolution 1080p on the back let me 
flip it to the front. Uh, video resolution. 7, 20, 30 max settings. So you're not going to get 4K on either camera. So that people might be bummed out for that. But like I said, you're getting it for free if, if you're getting it the way I'm telling you to get it. Just trade it in no phone. I'm happy with it because I didn't pay 216. I got it for free. And I think for what I got it for, I, I'm, I'm, ha I'm content with it. So cameras, I'm going to give the cameras um, overall with the video and still shots. I'm going to give it like like a C plus, like, like I, I'm pretty sure they could improve it with updates, which is not good to say because you shouldn't count on that, but it, they're pretty good. I think uh, the cameras, I would, I would give them an average C plus. They're pretty good. Um, performance on here. Did I go through that yet? Yeah, I probably did gaming and stuff like that. And I'm not too sure about, oh, I don't know if I would uh, recommend it for gaming when it comes to performance. Um, what else could I tell you guys? The speaker on the bottom and call quality speaker on the bottom sounds good i did some uh i do have netflix i forgot to mention netflix i watched netflix video on here or a movie and it uh, is the bottom speaker is pretty decent i mean i wish it had dual but it has mono bottom firing speaker headphone jack on there i haven't used the headphone jack um i've been using the oneplus bluetooth wireless headphones so they sound audio sounds pretty good sounds decent to me and uh USB type C, no wireless charging. Um, and I guess I covered about pretty much everything I could in, in the one week of usage. So I'm gonna probably make a later video uh, in more detail, but for right now, this is what I think about the OnePlus Nord N 205G. Would I pick it up? I'd pick it up. Like I said, if you got it for the deal that, that's out there right now, um, I'd pick it up, give it a spin on oneplus.net website it's like 234 dollars or something like that 240 for this phone and that's the unlock version i'm not sure why it costs that much but on t-mobile it's 216 um uh, is it worth 216 if you want to pick it up i don't know i don't know what the phone is actually going to be worth to you but it is definitely worth trading in an old phone for it and tinkering with it keeping it as a backup phone like i like i i'm about to do i like the phone i'm gonna keep it as a backup phone probably flash some roms on it later on and see how it performs and stuff like that but it's been running great um call quality is pretty good i have made some calls on it um gps navigation locks on use the gps navigation a lot of people don't talk about that but it's, it locks on real good and i use google maps it runs works great so yeah, overall, the phone overall, uh, for build quality, the way it runs and and everything about the phone, you can add, I think it does support the FM chip, so you can add a FM app on there and, and get FM by plugging in the headphone jack and using that as an antenna, it'll work. Supposedly, don't quote me on that, but yeah, I like the phone, man. I'm definitely happy with it, I can tell you that. And you can too if you trade in. <laughs> if you trade in an older phone for it, you'll be happy as me. And that's going to be it for right now. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Nord and 205G. We out. Peace.